I thought it was a tale of two halves, certainly in terms of the offense, but fortunately for us, I thought it was not a tale of two halves on the defensive end. I thought we were pretty solid and consistent on the defensive end, solid and consistent on the glass, and that gave us a chance to win the basketball game. Um, I, I give Fairfield a lot of credit. I mean, they're a talented basketball team. You know, they won at Bucknell early this year, and they've been in a ton of close games, and um, you know, they're they're kind of finding their way a little bit as well. But I mean, they've got some guys that can really score it, can really shoot it, and and, and you know, I think they put a lot of pressure on you defensively and um, and they were able to do that a little bit more in the second half and I thought our guys battled and fought and you know gutted through a, a, a really solid win for our team. I think he hit pretty much most of it in the first half we started off really well with our pace we were hitting shots we were up I think 18 or so but they came out and they were ready to push the pace as well they were doing really well on defense in the second half and we weren't hitting shots as much so we just had to rely back on our defense and that's what closed it out there in the stretch. Yeah, you know, Jordan Fox, it, it's, I, I, wish, I wish I could express it in a, in a way that would give him, do him justice. Jordan Fox has done every single thing that we've asked from the day he set foot, you know, at our prep school. He's, he's worked his butt off. It, no, there's not one day that you ever question Jordan's effort. There's not one day you ever question his drive in the classroom or, you know, or militarily around here. Jordan Fox is a kid who has absolutely put his heart and soul into Army West Point basketball, done all the right things. And, and, you know, anything good that happens to Jordan Fox is well-deserved. And, and he worked and has worked for, for that and certainly should feel very good about that. You know, it means a lot to me. I never, coming in, I never thought I'd score 1,000 points here. I thought I was a point guard, true point guard coming in. And, you know, I had to work really hard, you know, at mostly my mindset of, of being a scorer because I'd never really been that in my life. But, uh, you know, I worked really hard on shooting, uh, became a really good shooter. And you know, just just got that mentality, and I got to give it all to my teammates. Like Tommy Funk is extremely unselfish, gets me the ball. You know, Matt Wilson is extremely unselfish. But we have just a group of guys who work hard, and and they want to see each other be successful. And and that's the reason I was able to reach that milestone. And you know, I'll I'll forever be grateful for my teammates.